guided meditation for chaotic time. This is based on a traditional mindfulness practice. The purpose is to make your usual unconscious stream of thoughts, emotion, and sensations conscious. The way we feel and act is often hijacked by thoughts and feelings that happen so quickly we are not even aware of them. All of a sudden, we are upset or anxious or angry in a situation that needs our attention and care. First step, noticing and naming. Make yourself comfortable, either sitting or lying down and close your eyes. Let your attention gently scan your body for physical sensation like cold or heat or tightness or relaxation. Then start to notice any thoughts or emotions that may be passing through. Whenever you notice a thought or an emotion, you have already started the practice. You noticed. And once you notice, name what you notice with one word, thinking or feeling or sensation. It is really important to notice any judgment or criticism of your thoughts. Just add one of the label. Congratulate yourself for noticing and then watch for whatever comes next. This seemingly simple step of naming and noticing creates such a bit of space between you and your experience. You notice that thoughts and emotion begin and if you let them be, they end and you create a space where you can choose to follow them or not. Second step, all thoughts are just thoughts. The next step is to do your best to notice and name all thoughts as just thoughts and all emotions as just emotions. A thought about forgetting to pick up dinner on the way home and a thought about your loss of income during the pandemic are just noticed and named. They are both just thoughts that come from somewhere and then disappear again. Or if you remember the irritation at your partner not letting you know they would be home late is treated just the same as feeling lonely because you can't see your family. They are both just emotions that comes from somewhere and then disappear again. So for good does this practice do? It will help you notice the acts of thinkings and feelings themselves 
instead of the content of individual thoughts and feelings. Thoughts and feelings of all sizes and shapes, from mild to overwhelming, come and go. Try it. You may find it a relief to see that the hundreds of thoughts that you have each day are just one thing, thinking. And you thinking isn't you. Last step, noticing the one who notice. This step is hidden in the first two. When you notice and name and do your best to treat all your thoughts and emotions the same, you begin to sense a part of you that is not in the thought. It is aware of your experience, able to witness them, not just caught in them, there is a place of clear, compassionate witness of everything that is happening. If you are someone who is sometimes overcome by troubling thoughts and emotion, this really is a relief. With a bit of practice, this witnessing awareness becomes more familiar and has a kind of draw to it. There is a calm and peace to this place and is aware of your thoughts and feelings but isn't a part of them. Conclusion So, the two wings of this practice can help you in challenging times. The first wing will show you how to have a lighter touch on your thoughts and feelings, to let them move rather than holding on too tight. And the second wing brings you into connection with a quiet, always present space of calm inside you that can be your oasis in hard times. And the more you practice, the more accessible that space will become. Reflection Did you notice a particular thought or feeling? that was hard to label and move on from there. Were you able to sense the witnessing space in you that noticed and named what was happening?